Hey everyone, we're Nicole and Miko, and if you've been watching this channel for a while, you know that one of our favorite ways to explore a new country is to eat the local food. So to kick off our Malaysian experience, we have booked ourselves a food tour where we will be walking through the streets of Kuala Lumpur, trying as many delicious foods as we can. We got Sados here from a chef's tour. He's our foodie specialist here in Kuala Lumpur. And he's gonna start us off with some delicious fruits in the area. The first thing we're gonna try, this is what we call it, sala. It looks like it's part of a snake. <laughs> the snake skin fruit. It looks like a garlic. Free not, it does not taste like yeah. garlic at all. Snake skin. Snake skin fruit. And you know when the snake sh shuts its skin? Yeah, it looks like that. That's how it looks like. But it's like a, oh, that's so trippy. It's like an orange peel. Yeah. Well, you can predominantly can find this fruit in Southeast Asia, oh. even in West uh, Latin America, stuff like that. Right? Wow, that's really good. It, it almost yeah. tastes like a like almost like a really dry pineapple because it's like sweet like a pineapple. Uh, citrusy, yeah. little. very citrusy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's a big seed in the middle. This is what we really local call this mangis. Mangis. Mangis in English, mangustin. So to open it, very simple. Open the top. Just squeeze it. Uh, okay, so we've definitely had mangosteen before. I absolutely love this fruit, but I did not know how to open it. That is definitely not the way I've been opening it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it because it peels away kind of like an orange, but it is so sweet. And look, it's like white flesh on the inside. It's gotta be one of the most beautiful fruits, honestly. It tastes so good. It's just like heaven. <laughs> oh, live snails. Wow, I can literally see them moving. It moves. So we're just walking through like the wet market here in, uh, what's the area called? Chowkit. <laughs> here in Chowkit. It's really cool. We're not obviously buying any fish right now, yeah. but it's neat to see everything laid out like and, um, and have Zadaz explain to us like what the local fish is here, what most of the people eat, like what's a really common seafood to eat here. Well, this is catching me a little off guard, I won't lie. I've never seen this before. We're not eating any of this today, are we? No, no, no. <laughs> we're not experimenting with wow. that. Maybe another That's day. an adventure. <laughs> sat down at our first restaurant and we just heard that I think we're going to be able to go back and like see how some of the food is cooked, which is pretty exciting. them to go with our roti. Chicken curry, dal, which is lentils, and then this is a fish curry. So I won't be eating, eating that one, <laughs> but the rest looks so good. And I made this roti, okay guys? <laughs> oh man. Oh my god. This is so good. Mm. Perfect amount of spice to this chicken. Oh my god. This has so much flavor. The texture is amazing. It's really fluffy. So what Sadaz was also saying earlier is that in India they would call this a paratha, which is something we've had in India as well. It's a little bit different than this, but here in Malaysia they call it uh, roti. And the one that I have has a bit of egg into it. Mm. You like it? See how like so easy it is for to like pull the, the bread apart? I think I prefer it without egg personally. Oh yeah? Because the egg is the egg tastes a little overpowering. I just love the texture of the bread. Really, really good. So I'm gonna try the mee goreng next. And mee means noodles, and goreng means fried. So it's kind of like a fried noodle dish. They have uh, different uh, sauces in it, including soy sauce, sambal, and chili sauce. <laughs> That's good. So inside the mee goreng, we've got chicken, bean sprout, tofu, 
Do I see onion or no? Garlic. 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 Yeah. Mm. He asked us how spicy we want it. I told him medium spicy. It's pretty good. Like you could definitely go for hotter, but um, I think if you want to, you could also ask for like a lot less spicy, and we have less punch. <laughs> So we're just waiting for the next couple of foods that we ordered and they just showed us around the inside of the restaurant. I love this style. It's like a full restaurant, but right here, look at that, street side. That's how you know the food's gonna be really good and really authentic when you can see basically like almost like the whole family working in the restaurant. Guys, look how massive this pot is. It's, I think I, I think I, even maybe I could fit in there. This is a huge soup pot. So, second trip second. for tonight. Wow. So, this uh, the, uh, evening session almost finished? Almost finished, yeah. Yes. Wow. So, this is Malay traditional soup. Malay traditional soup. And how long does it take to make? Around one hour. One hour. Yes. Yeah. So Smells very good. <laughs> <laughs> so, this, if you can see, full of fish. Full of fish? Yes. Wow. We have sour and fishy taste. Sa sour and fishy And taste. spicy. And spices. And yes. Wow, look at that. So Malay Malaysian people love this, including Chinese. This is curry laksa. Curry. So, this one made of coconut and curry powder. Wow. This one made of rice. You can find it uh, in... Uh, and make McDonald's too. McDonald's? <laughs> like a rice porridge. Yes, rice porridge. Yeah, okay. You are right. Wow. Yeah, I got bihon soup, which I think is a really common Malaysian dish. Is that right? Yeah. Like I've seen it all over it's the place. traditional it's Malay food. Traditional Malay food. And it's a bone broth. Uh, you can see chunks of beef in here with, is it rice noodle? Rice noodle. Rice noodle. And I see some onions, like like green onion chopped up in here. Yeah, those noodles look good too. Mm. Mm. That's good. Ooh, that is so, so good. I love the beef broth, it's so rich. Perfectly salty. This is like a, like a, like a happy hearty soup that you would eat when you're sick. <laughs> this is really good. And I got the mee curry, which is like a spicy Asian noodle dish as well. It's got uh, chicken broth, was it? And coconut milk, shrimp paste, fish ball, fish balls, tofu, tofu. Wow, and look at this! Look, there's just so many things going on here. I love the noodles. Oh, and the broth has got a lot of heat to it, but it's kind of nice because it's got a really uh, I, I got a, like a shrimpy like undertone or underlayer in the broth and I love how there's like little chunks of fish balls in there. I love, I love fish balls. You got to be ready for the heat though. I don't think this is a midday one. It's too hot. Like spicy and warm. Spicy and warm. <laughs> it's like double extra spicy, extra hot. We've just arrived to our next spot. It looks like we're going to get some sort of Durian dessert or dessert and durian? I'm a little nervous. <laughs> I can definitely smell the durian. If you're not familiar with durian, by the way, it's like a very spiky fruit and uh, it's uh, known for its flavor, but more so known for its smell. It's stinkiness. <laughs> I feel like it's in my nose. <laughs> it's like itching my nose. <laughs> durian can be such like a strong smell that a lot of times you might actually see uh, signs that say no durian, especially like inside at a hotel or in like public public transportation. I think it's like the equivalent of microwaving fish at the office. <laughs> you know, everybody knows what you're doing, and, and it's like a no go. And, yeah, and it's kind of like, uh, should you be doing that? So that's kind of like what eating durian is like, in like a subway station or something. <laughs> And how do I eat it? Is there a seed inside? It is a seed. It has a seed there. Okay. Just eat it kind of like a mango. Yes. All right, guys, durian. In all honesty, I'm a little nervous. It does not smell very good. It tastes like onion. It tastes like onion? Onion, uh, creamy, not in a good way. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like a creamy onion. He is not selling this. Look at that. Oh, I'm not excited, I won't lie. I don't love the smell. Ah, not bad. Uh, she likes it. I love it. She likes it. <laughs> ah, that's so 
sweet. Mm. I taste the onion. Yeah. It's like a buttery onion. Mm. Okay, one second. Make it like myself. Interestingly, I smell like hints of mango, but then like there's no taste of mango, which is unfortunate. Is it hard? Like is it? It's really soft and really fleshy. Soft, gooey. Yeah, really soft, really gooey, very fleshy. Big seed in there. Looks like I feel like it's acquired. Oh, actually, maybe it's not. <laughs> not sure I like it very much. <laughs> that is a weird texture. <laughs> it is like a creamy onion. I can definitely, I can smell the onion. You can I have taste the, the, onion. The, the, the blue cheese or marmite. Mm. I, I don't mind it. It's definitely a distinct taste and smell. And the thought of like biting into like an onion and then all of a sudden the onion is like soft and mushy. That's kind of what it's like. I can definitely see though that like if this is something you grew up with, it would probably be delicious. Like I'm sure you eat it with everything. But like it just feels so, just so different. Just like unlike anything I've ever eaten before. Except for soft mushy onions. <laughs> Since Malaysia is a hot and humid country, we like to have cold and sweet. Cold and sweet. Malaysian people, we are very sweet people. We like to bring all the things sweet. <laughs> and what we're gonna have here is made of palm sugar, coconut milk, shaved ice on top there will be green jelly made of tapioca rice flour and pandan and then there will be sweet corn i feel like everything here looks like it goes really well together except the sweet corn <laughs> i feel like i shouldn't have vegetables in my dessert i don't know that one's weirding me out super good really sweet oh i love the tapioca oh incredibly cold Watch your teeth, right, Reese? Right. This is a lot of food. Like, I feel like I've been drinking this for like an hour. <laughs> this is like be perfect after you, like a hot afternoon. You know, you get home, ready for just a little bit of a snack before dinner. It's be great. It's like a dessert before dinner. This shop has been here since 1980, and they are only selling putu. All right, this is a cool dessert. It's called putu. It's made in like bamboo and steamed. And it's mostly rice flour? Rice flour, yeah. Rice flour. Look at that. There's like fresh coconut shavings on top with lots of sugar. This looks amazing. So the one that is green is because of the pandan, which is like a vegetable here that they they use, especially the juice from, in lots of stuff from what we've learned today. Let's try the pandan flavored one first. Ooh, really good. Mm. It's really gentle. Like the flavor is coming mostly from the sugar and the coconut shavings. As I dig deeper, I found more sugar inside this. Yum. Five pieces four ringgits. It's pretty good. <laughs> we're gonna try the chopped mackerel ikan kambong, common people's fish. So they're gonna clean the fish here. They're gonna make the grill in a traditional way. Here, while grilling, they put a sambal, a secret sauce on top. Look at this, you guys. I got the chopped mackerel, ikan kambo. Yeah, I think okay. I'm saying that right. That's how you say it in Malaysian. It is just a fried or a grilled fish, and then they put in their own special sauce, whatever that sauce may be. They never told me. They don't tell you? Ah, I asked them if any time they say it's a secret sauce. <laughs> Oh, that's good. Really like, almost like really juicy. I think usually when you have grilled fish like this, it's really dry and it flakes off so easily. This is a fall off the bone good, but fish version, really, really moist. It comes with a couple special sauces as well. Green one is the spicy one. Ooh, gotta try it with the green one. <laughs> it is spicy. Oh, oh, oh. oh. That was a lot spicier than I expected. <laughs> Gonna get some sweet Thai, sweet thai sauce in there. <laughs> All right, wow. we are headed into a new community, Kampong Baru. Kampong Baru. Um, and I guess Kampong means village. There's yeah. still a few foods left and oh my god. I am so full. We are We're getting more selective of how much we eat. We're trying to stay away from the spicy foods now. I'm trying not to drink water. Like we're at that point of the tour. And look how dark it is. Wow, yeah, that was fast. fast. 
<laughs> look, look how gorgeous the towers look. I don't think I'll ever get over how beautiful those towers are at night. They're just glowing. They're like Christmas trees. We're gonna try Malaysian style satay now. So these guys have like, uh, in the beef, there's like a chunk of fat in the middle of two pieces of beef, like beef fat. And then the chicken, there's a piece of skin in the middle. And I guess that's one of the ways you can tell that it is Malaysian versus the Indonesian style. Of oh! Mmm. That is so good. Mmm. It's very peanutty. I really like this one. <laughs> chicken with a little bit of skin in the middle, eh? Mmm. 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 This is also very good. Oh. But the beef is my favorite. Oh, it's delicious. So this, what we have here is ota ota. Ota ota. Ota ota, the fish made into a paste. They add some turmeric, curry powder, and palm sugar. They put in a palm leaf, and they grill it. So cool. Wow, how it's prepared. I've never seen anything like this before. It's like a palm leaf that's just been grilled, and the fish, like, uh, mixture with some spices it looks like um, is inside so interesting fish and palm sugar turmeric turmeric and, and curry powder and that makes it gives it that little that red coloring oh hey that's good that's how I tell you it goes very well with the beer yeah it goes really well with the beer yeah <laughs> but it's no just alcohol like, in here <laughs> no alcohol here. but it's just it's just like almost like a bite-sized chunk of fish. So interesting. Never seen a street food like this. It's like a paste, eh? Hey? Yeah. yeah. We are going to try the national dish of Malaysia. It is called nasi lemak. This Wando place is apparently a really famous place to get nasi, nasi lemak, and everybody here seems so friendly. Thank you. <laughs> wow. It smells so good. Look at that. This is why it's the national dish. Look, it's just perfect. Rice, chicken, egg, deliciousness, spices, and even this the plating on uh, like a, what, I think it's a banana leaf or something like that. Mm. Very gentle, nothing overbearing, very easy to eat. This is definitely a meal you can just eat every day, per personally. You normally have for breakfast and dinner. Do you have this for breakfast? You have this for breakfast and dinner. This shop sells for breakfast, lunch and dinner. I mean, I like chicken rice. I just couldn't eat it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner like Nico. Oh. And your drink is here. Thank you. Wow. Nice timing. Mm-hmm. Nico undersold this. This is like a really gentle, um, like very coconutty curry. It's got a little bit of sweetness to it. It's actually the closest thing that I can think that I've ever had before is actually like a Thai curry. Kind of reminds me of a Thai curry. Mm -hmm. Different, of course, Malaysian style, but like that's the closest thing that I would say I've ever had. It's got that kind of heat to it, but it's still somehow sweet underneath. Yeah, yeah. That is excellent. And, uh, there's always an issue in pertaining the rendang. Indonesian claim rendang is jazz. Malaysian claim is jazz. Ah. End of the day, rendang is uh, it's from Malay. Malaysian Malay, 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 Indonesian Malay, both are, both are Malay. Oh. They are brothers in Malay. I see, I see. No point of fighting. It comes from both. Yeah, both it comes and from all. Both. both are brothers. It's the people, not the country. <laughs> I like this. Wow, this is excellent. I think what made this food tour so amazing was not just the food, but all the Malaysian people that we talked to today. They were just so warm and welcoming and they just loved us trying new foods and learning about Malaysian foods. Yeah. I think maybe best of all was the dogs. Like our guide, he was just phenomenal. He was a, just a wonderful person to be around and so good to learn from. We had an awesome time with him. As always, the chef's tour was just phenomenal. If you guys would also like to book a food tour with the chef's tour, we'll put a link down in the description so you can book this one. We hope you guys enjoy this video. We'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Go for it,
How do I do? How did you do? <laughs> like this? So how are you? Sure. <laughs> I have never used spoons and forks this big. Oh yeah, okay. okay. <laughs> He's like, alright, you're burning it. <laughs> He's like, stop, stop, you're burning it. <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank you.